Hello friends, Radhika Vekuma here. Uh, today we will um, look into the concept called indexing in SQL. So first of all, let us see what is indexing and why we need indexing. Okay. Now let us see an, a general example. So just imagine that uh, you know I give a book to you, as, uh, some textbook, some huge textbook, and I ask you to go and uh, find a topic called query. So you being a smart person, what you do is you don't uh, start uh, you know searching for that concept from the page one you don't do that being a smart person what you do is you go back of the book in every book you there is a set of pages in the in you know uh, which is which will be having the index which will be having the page number related to that particular keyword right the same way you go to the back back of the book and you search for um, keywords that is alphabetically alphabetically uh, you know, arranged you go and uh, search for a keyword called query you go to q you search for query then uh, when you find the keyword query you see for the page number which is there you know, beside the query keyword then you go to that particular page number and you can find the query concept and you say it is found so this is how even indexing will work whenever you want you just imagine that you're having a, a millions of records in, a, in your table you want to retry only particular set of uh, records so you will be giving some condition that you know when you say when you use your dml command that is select statement you say select star from or select column from uh, some the tab table name from uh, from the table name and you say where uh, so you give some condition the where clause you give some condition right whenever such kind of conditions are given when those columns are indexed what your uh, database search engine does is it doesn't simply go to that table and uh, start searching from the beginning you know even database search engine is also smart right like you so what it does it doesn't go and uh, do the flat file search whenever a particular column is not indexed this listen see whenever a particular column is not indexed and you use that column in your where clause at that time what what the search engine a uh, database is uh, sorry search engine does is it it will simply search from the from the page one because it's not smarter whenever you use indexes for a column then it will become smart enough and it will go to the you know that particular uh, table or a special lookup table where you'll be having all the keywords and uh, in, uh, in the same way you'll be having the addresses where that particular row is present okay okay le first let us see this uh, select statement when i say select <coughs> sorry select star from employee where department number is equal to 20 so when i say like this uh, you guys should make sure that you know uh, some people will be having confu confusion like which column should be indexed see whenever usually uh, primary keys whenever you well, while creating a table you will be giving a particular column as a primary key right so for those primary key no need of creating any indexes because by default indexes are created for that primary key okay for default pri uh, for primary key indexes are created but here in our employee table uh, department number is not a primary key so when i whenever i'm using this condition department number is equal to this department number column if you are using this column frequently for searching or for retrieving data records then you can uh, you know index this department number okay so now uh, my uh, department number is not indexed <coughs> sorry can see now uh, my department number is not indexed so how to create an index for my department number so how you will do it is just say create index uh, the, these are all the keywords first the create index then you should be giving some index name you can give whatever you want I will give it as edx1 okay then on you should say on then the table name my table name is employee right emp then which column you want to index department number so this is how you can create index uh, for your uh, 
column that is create index then the index name on what table and which column do you want to index that is what I have mentioned here this is EMP is my table name and department number is the column name EMP of department number so when I execute it yeah index is created now whenever I uh, you know execute this query what the search engine does is in the previous case what the search engine was doing is whenever I say department 20 see sorry whenever I used to say uh, department 20 what it wh what it was doing is it used to compare you know compare this condition with each and every record of the table so this was doing a flat file search in uh, further tutorial I'll uh, let you know what are the types of uh, indexes that are available and how each one works okay so just um, you know uh, understand what the flat file search is whenever you give this condition that is department number or whatever it is the condition the search engine will go and you know compare the condition with each record that is present in the table so this will be very much time consuming whereas when you create an index what happens is the uh, search engine doesn't go to the table first it goes to the special lookup table so indexing is nothing but a special lookup table it goes there it will search for the keyword whatever you have given and it fetches the address from there address from that particular uh, particular special table and then the records are retrieved so whenever you do indexing for a particular column your data retrieval will be more faster faster so mm, that is why many people you know prefer indexing when they are having millions of records and they need to you know whenever the dml commands that is select statement is um, mostly used so for this only the indexing is very much used but coming to this insert part inserting updation at that time the indexing uh, index indexing and all will uh, this efficiency will be very less okay uh, in the further tutorial we'll see what are the types of indexing that are available and uh, how we can make use of it and all so till now we, i hope you have understood what is indexing and how to create indexing for a particular um, you know column okay so uh, keep waiting or keep um, you know watching my videos and keep waiting for my other upcoming tutorials and thank you for watching